Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and this is our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 478, definitely counting down to 500. Who would have ever thought there'd be 500 YouTubes? We're going to have to cover the four on my little on my little banner back there that that a very good friend sent to me. <laughs> it says over 400 YouTubes. We're just going to get a little piece of paper and put a 5 there. So we are counting down to our to 500 YouTubes and today today I have got just beautiful things for you beautiful things now a Saturday with Stacy YouTube class is a full length commercial free class and it's always technique based technique based doesn't mean hard it just means that there's a method to it there's a there's a a, a, a a, a, a process and the process can change depending on who you are but knowing how to use the product that's the most important thing ever and I will tell you I had a moment with one of these products that we had today I, I, I wanted to do this YouTube I wanted this product I needed this product but did I know it was going to do everything that I thought it could do and a little bit more no, it just took me took me by surprise how amazing it was. So today I have got I've got simply defined kaleidoscope stencils for you, which are always a, a simply defined product is a uh, an exclusive brand here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. So you're only going to find it here. But I also have acrylic paints from Jacquard. They're called Lumiere paints. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it doesn't matter. However you say it, it, it equals magic. <laughs> they are magnificent. And because they're coming from a fine art company, love fine art companies, because they make product that is so mm, good. <laughs> And yet the pricing is so affordable. If this paint came from perhaps a scrapbooking manufacturer, I guarantee you the price would be double. Absolutely. But because it's out of the fine art market, it is top quality product at a price that's like, wait, what? <laughs> so I have got winner, winner, chicken dinner to tell you about. I've got four winner winners. I'm going to do that first and then we're going to talk a little bit about the paint and then I think we're going to get going for today. Now I hope all of you had the most amazing Thanksgiving with friends and family and loved ones and that it was just it was just wonderful whether whether you had a big feast or you ordered takeout whatever made your heart happy as long as as long as you had an opportunity to just sit and be and enjoy that is so important christmas is coming up um, hanukkah is coming up so i know the times you know it gets very very busy and i'm hoping that this class if you're watching with me either while we're live chatting during the premiere or at a later time this gives you an opportunity to just take a breath from all of that because it, it can be so stressful trying to get everything done. And I have, I have just one piece of advice. Only you knew what you had planned. Nobody else knew. <laughs> so if the decorations, the whole house doesn't get decorated, only you knew how you planned on doing it. Everybody else is just going to see what amazing job you got done. They're not going to know any better, so they're not going to be disappointed. And if every Christmas or Hanukkah gift doesn't have the perfect bow attached to it, that's okay. Only you knew that it takes 15 minutes to make one of those bows, and, and everybody's just going to love what's inside the package because that's what matters. What's from the heart is what matters. So if you feel yourself getting kind of, you know, a little stressed out, Take a moment, take a step back, turn on YouTube or your favorite TV show, uh, Little House on the Prairie. If I need to de-stress Little House on the Prairie, don't ask me why, but that will help me de-stress. I go back to Murder, She Wrote. I go back to things that, that I watched with my parents. So take that time for yourself. It doesn't have to be long, 15 minutes, and just give yourself a moment to say, okay, whew, you're doing the best you can and only you knew what you had intended. Everybody else is gonna think everything you've done is absolutely amazing because they think you are amazing. And that's enough. So 
Today we are going to play. We're going to do some amazing things. It's going to be kind of a de-stressed YouTube class today. Wahoo kachoo. And my winner winner chicken dinners. I have four of you because last week was was Thanksgiving and I didn't have an opportunity to let everybody have enough time to post their comments and then we were closed for two days. So I've got four winner winners. Are you ready to see if you are one of them and have a $25 gift card in your online account? Uh oh, there's no check marks. Okay, I need to be sure that those check marks get checked. <laughs> Otherwise, there won't be the $25 in your account. <laughs> We're so high tech here. All right, the first winner winner is, oh, Wendy, Wendy Federley. Hello, Wendy, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> I hope everything is well with you. I hope, I hope things are just, you're just blessed and, and overjoyed with the holiday seasons and, and you've got wonderful friends and, and I'm just wishing you all the best, Wendy. And most importantly, you're a $25 winner winner chicken dinner this week. Congratulations, my friend. Oh my gosh. So excited to see your name. Then I have Carmen. Carmen. Radatz? Carmen Radatz? Is that you, Carmen? Carmen Radatz? Yay, no, not even close. It's okay, you still got $25 to spend. And then Renee huh, Wolford. Renee Wolford. Hello, Renee. Renee Wolford, is that you? I've got four of you to announce. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then Christy. Christy Watts. Hello, Christy Watts, is that you? You also are a winner winner chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. So Christy Watts, you best be doing a winner winner chicken dinner dance. And Renee Wolford, you better be doing a winner winner chicken dinner dance. And Carmen, oh this one's hard for me, Radatz, Radatz, Radatz. Carmen, get up there and be shaking your booty when we start doing the winner winner chicken dinner dance. And last but not least, Wendy. Wendy, I know you're doing a winner, winner, chicken dinner dance. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. Congratulations to all of you. There will be a $25 gift card in your, a credit on your online account by the time you're watching this. I will make sure of it. <laughs> the little checks were not done, so I'm not sure if it's done yet, but it will be there by the time you're seeing this. So go buy something fabulous. Go, go find something that makes your heart happy or something you've always wanted to try and just know it's compliments of scrapbooking made simple. Wahoo could you. Now today, today again, it's, it's all about simply defined layering stencils, which are easy peasy to use and they're value priced, but also this Lumiere paint from Jacquard. Now I met Jacquard at a trade show last year and I met Asher. I met with Asher and he is this super tall guy. I mean like, Hello, Asher, how are you doing up there? <laughs> Crazy, you can't miss him because he stands up two feet taller than everybody else, but the nicest guy. And he's so passionate about what he does, about the paints and the mediums and, and the techniques and the tools that Jacquard does. But Jacquard has always been known kind of as a fine art company. And I said, fine art, that's just because you make really great quality product we can use it in the in the crafting community and he said well yeah sure you can and we did the pearlex remember we did the pearlex love the pearlex oh love the pearlex with him and now pearlex is going to be our go-to mica absolutely because it's the best and it's affordable so he had i, I saw these lumiere paints and I, I knew the minute i saw them i wanted them just because the colors were like oh dreamy but i didn't know I knew what I thought I could do with them, but I wasn't 100% positive. So I brought some in and played with them. And then I called him and said, hmm, we want these. Can I have these? Can you sell me these? <laughs> and he's like, well, yeah, sure we can. Lumiere is a very popular product for us. It is an acrylic based paint, not a water based paint, an acrylic based paint that is so pigmented. And they've got, I brought in 
there's a lot of colors. I only brought in a certain amount. I brought in like starter sets and I built the starter sets. These aren't ones that you can go find in your, your local retail store where they're pre-kitted as a starter set. You may be able to find these paints in your local, your local craft store, but they're not gonna be in a starter kit per se. You just have to find the colors that I'm using and you'll make your own starter kit. So I brought in 12 colors. Six are like jewel tones. Oh, I love jewel tones. Three are interference colors. And then three colors, they call them halo. How can you not love something that's called halo, right? So I'm gonna start with those today. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all the different colors. We're gonna work with them a little bit. And then I'm gonna move on to my stencils. I think the paints, oh, I really did have a moment with them. So, and, and because they're from a fine art company, the price is so good. And you use about this much product. Oh my gosh, these are gonna last you a lifetime. So I'm gonna tilt down. We're gonna get started for today. I've got some samples to show you, and, uh, and then we're gonna get going. And to everybody at Jacquard, thank you very much for your help. I know I'm a newbie to your product and, and your products, and I'm, I'm learning as fast as I can, but everybody there has been so thoughtful and so helpful and so kind that um, we really just appreciate it. And I've got a new Versa stamp for you as well. So I'm excited, we're gonna work with that. I usually don't work with the Versa stamp really early. I, it, usually that's kind of towards the end or sometimes not at all. I'm gonna work with that first because that was my swoon moment. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna tilt down. We're gonna get started for today. I'm so excited. <laughs> Down we go. Bye, everybody. All right. Let's zoom on in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let me go down a little bit further. I think, I think we're okay there. Yeah, what do you think? Honestly, I'm just trying to get my tummy out of the way. <laughs> okay, maybe a little too close. Maybe I'm going to have to have my tummy in the way a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Honorary SMS girl Patty made this one. P-A-T-T-I, the same Patty that I used the Marvy markers with. Oh my gosh. Lovely, right? But then, look at this one. Ooh, what do we think of that? I don't know who made this one. I, my guess, maybe SMS girl Renee? perhaps but then look at that so now you've seen the layering stencils that I've done because this is one of them and this is one of them <laughs> but you also see the Jacquard Lumiere paint oh. Beautiful, beautiful. So I think that is where I'm going to start today. And um, let's just take, ooh, lids on please, lids on. Let's just take some of it. These are the, kind of the jewel tones that I picked out. Lids on. These are the jewel tone colors that I picked out. Now these are an acrylic based paint. They're not a water-based paint, which means that you can use them on fabric and metal and leather and glass and, I mean, just about, and paper and, 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 and look at the colors. They all have a pearlescent or a metallic finish to them and they go a really, really, really long way. Again, they retail somewhere, I think we have them on sale for around $5.50 a, a bottle, $5.75, something like that, somewhere in that. And when you use them, you're gonna see how little you use. These are gonna last you a long time. Now, what makes these so cool? Well, one, the drying time. Drying time's amazing. 
to the fact that you can use them on everything. So how do these differ from something like a fine tech, which is a beautiful metallic paint as well? Let me go back up. So a fine tech is a highly pigmented, fine art quality product that we sell. We love fine tech, but it is water based. And that makes a huge difference when, when you're working with it. Water-based products don't necessarily love non-porous materials, right? Because the, the water has nothing to seep into, that paint has nothing to seep into. So, so water-based products are beautiful, and that's typically what you find more often in your, your scrapbooking, paper crafting manufacturers. They tend to do more water-based products because we're using paper and that water and the metallic or the paint or whatever that water is built into absorbs into the paper giving you your drawing time acrylics I'll let you kind of they, they they let you play in everybody's world they let you play in mixed media and altered art and simple card making and and well sometimes card making is not so simple let me tell you paper is a paper is a challenge it's a thing so scrapbooking and card making and and like i said mixed media and altered art but also more of your higher end finer art types of 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 um projects if you do that because they are so highly pigmented and being that they are acrylic, if you want to do them, on, you want to get your kids some sponges, uh, shaped sponges, and let them make shirts, this is a great paint to do that with because it will stay permanent on clothing. Like I said, leather, things of that nature. Can you use it on glass? Yes, yes you can. So we're gonna start with this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the stamp set because, well, I'm gonna start with the colors first and walk you through all the colors so you can see the difference between them on a light paper and a dark paper and, and then we'll play with the stamps. Oh my gosh. Okay, so back down I go. Sorry, I just, I can't not talk to you when I need to talk to you. It just feels odd just talking. Yeah, uh, down there okay i just need to get my tummy out of the way okay so here are the six primary colors or the six jewel colors that i picked can you buy just one color absolutely but i did put them in a bundle for you of the jewel tones um retails for 43 and it's on sale for about 34 dollars for all six colors so what makes these so special again they're acrylic based they're highly pigmented and they let you play in everybody's world, no matter whether you're mixed media, altered art, scrapbooking, card making, fine, uh, you're, you're doing some kind of a fine art project and they last forever. So I'm gonna start and let's just pull out some, I guess I'll start with, we'll just keep them here and I'll open them all. Now today I'm gonna be using a, let's put my, do, 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 so I can see I'm going to be using just my foam daubers from Woodware. That's all I'm going to be using today. I'm not going to use paint brushes. Could you use paint brushes? Sure, you could use paint brushes. Am I going to use paint brushes? No, I'm not going to use paint brushes today. I'm just going to keep it super, super simple. And I'm going to take some white paper and we're just going to start with that. Go back. You know what? Maybe I will keep them here. That way I have more room. All right, so I'm gonna start on some white paper and I have a sponge for every color. The sponges will eventually, if you wash them out, you'll be able to reuse them. If you do not, they will eventually just go hard. Um, and let's start, let's start here with the green. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shake. And when you get yours, they're going to have a sealer on top. They're gonna to have a piece of foil over the top that you just need to peel off. And I work out of the lid. So I don't try and pour any of this out or dip into. I work out of my lid because that's the easiest thing and my dauber just happens to fit in there perfectly. So I'm gonna take and I think I'm gonna zoom back just a little bit more. 
I'm gonna take and put a little bit of my paint because a little goes a long way. Now this is just paper, so if I put it there, I can pick it up, still pick it up there, and I just want you to see how fast. I can go straight to the paper if I'm just making like a background color. How fast and easy it is to use. The colors are amazing. There is, without question, um, a pearlescence to it. And I've got a lot going on. So I've got a lot on there. I want you to see how far I can take this. All I did was pull from the lid. But now you've got an idea of how far I can take that color. That's a lot for not very much on my brush, for sure, or my dauber, for sure. So the green is beautiful and it's dry. This is a metallic paint that dries almost instantaneously. I mean, it's super fast. So let's put that one away and let's bring out my blue. Now to clean up my workspace, baby wipe, because this is a non-stick, it's non-stick and non-slip. So I think I was, I know I was the first one to come out with a non-stick, non-slip craft mat. And now I know that, um, I know that it's, there's other places where you can get it, I believe but my craft mat's not taped down to anything. It has a silicone back, which allows it to stay in place, and yet it's non-stick on the top and heat resistant. So let's do blue, right? Shake it up. Put my pad on. I'm only gonna take from the lid. And I can put some there if I have too much or if I think I have too much. And then I can color away. So if you need a metallic background paper, this is not a paste. It's not like stencil butter or any, this is an actual paint. But the colors are just magnificent. Can you use a paintbrush? Yes. And the thing about them is, unlike a watercolor, and the blue is beautiful, unlike a watercolor, once this is dry, I can layer over the top of it and it won't reactivate this at all. It won't reactivate it at all. It'll stay completely Let me see if I can go over it kind of light. So I'm going over my green and it's not reactivating my green. My green is dry, it's not gonna move. Once it's dry, it's dry. Ooh, I got lots going on. Okay, so let's wipe that up. So just working out of your lid, you can see how far this can go. And let's take my pink, my blue on top and take my pink, give a shake. You know what, I think I'm gonna let this one go and we'll just shake again and take from the lid. There we go. Pink, my choice to put some down on my craft mat if I feel I have too much or if I wanna just go, I go. Oh, and see, you can see here how my pink is going over my blue and it's not moving the blue. 
if this was a water-based product, it would be reactivated and you would be blending those colors. I've got a lot on here. So I've got probably enough on here that I could almost probably re just finish up this whole piece of paper. Okay, so you can see where I've gone into my blue and it didn't activate, but there's my pink with that beautiful finish. And then let's move on and let's do my purple. I'm gonna have to use a second piece of paper because <laughs> I've got six of these colors. And straight from the lid. So fast and easy. And my purple is going over my pink and it's not making mud because that pink is now dry. But that purple is a beautiful color. Okay, so that gives you an idea. I'll do the rest of the colors, but can you see the color in the sheen? All right, I'm gonna put that over to the side for a minute. I'm gonna put my purple away. I'll do the last two colors. Oh, I've got it on my hands. Come on. Zoop, zoop. And wipe up my purple. And let's play. So when you think acrylic, acrylic is kind of like a plastic, yeah? That's why it dries with such, um, such a beautiful sheen to it. And it has this feel. And really, I mean, for something that is metallic, usually we are using a metallic-based ink pad, a pigment-based ink pad, because that's what most metallics in our crafty world, most metallics are made out of a pigment-based product. And that means that that pigment sits on top versus absorbs in. So you always have a drying time when you're uh, working with metallic inks. You always have a drying time. It's just the way they kind of are. I've got a gold here. But with acrylics, they dry so fast. Oh, out of my lid. So with the colors, not only can you um, put them down as a single coat, but if you give them a moment to dry, you can come back and do another coat if you want to have them a little more rich in the color. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do the red. Give a little shake. Do the red, and this is uh, metallic russet. Oh. And again. I've got a lot on here. I could probably go a long, I'd probably go another two inches of, I mean, look at all that, just from what was in what I picked up. But if I wanna add more, I can. So if I take that one off and I go back to my gold and I want that color to be a little bit more opaque, 
give it a little shake. And then I can come back on and put another coat over the top if I want. And it's not going to reactivate because that first coat is already dry. And I mean it dries. That's like no time at all. So if you need a metallic paper and you don't have any, this is a super easy way to make some. I could go back with the red. Give a little shake. And again, over the top. Just if I want to darken my color up a little bit. And because that red was completely dry, it's not going to reactivate it. It's just going to add another coat. Oh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> Love the colors. They really are simply beautiful. But can you blend the colors? Hmm, can you blend the colors? Because if you let it dry, if you let it dry at that point, the colors will not blend because it's an acrylic based paint, unlike a water based paint. But what if we put that one there? What if I grabbed this? and this. Let's put that one there and let's put that one there and let's grab another sheet of paper. And I gave a shake, shake, shake and a shake, shake, shake. I have my pink and I have my purple. And what if I took my pink? Oh, Ooh, lots. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oodles here. Well, we'll just go. What if I took my pink and put it down? And then I took my purple. And put it down all around the same time. Can I make a blend? Ooh, it looks like I'm making a blend. My color looks beautiful, ombre. Pretty, right? Colors are magical. Now once they dry, you're done. You can't go back and try and continue to blend it. You've got to work on them together at the same time to get that nice soft blend between the two of them. Really easy, easy to do. Very pretty. Really pretty. So let's take on my opposite side. How about we take the, we'll put the purple away. And maybe we do the pink and the blue. And see if we can do a quick blend with those two. So a shake, 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 and a shake, shake, shake. And remember, it's dry. It's that fast, it's that quick, and the coverage is that much. So, open up my pink, open up my blue, start with my pink, and we'll get some pink down, and then we'll come in with some blue and see what happens.
And because that blue and that pink hadn't completely dried yet, I'm still able to make a soft blend. Pretty cool, right? And dry. Amazing. Love it. And this is just this is just the the six colors that I started with. So let's cover these up and let's see what we get if we Take another piece of paper. Boy, I'm going to go through white paper. And this is what's left on my... Um, this is just what's left kind of on my sponges. Let's see if there's any purple left on my sponge. see if there's any green left on a sponge. Oh, green's good. Green's gone. <laughs> and how about some red? Let's see if there's any red left on my sponge. So before I wash them, I want to get everything out. And you might just save this paper and use this for something else. Die cut out of it, cut words out of it. I have no idea, but you've got the ink on here, so why not look at I mean, wow, I had a lot of red. And all I did was take it from the lid. That was it. And let's see if there's any gold left. So you can see, I haven't used the gold or the red in a few minutes, and yet there's still some on there. You can just take a plain piece of paper and get it all off your sponge, and then use it later on. I don't know, but that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of colors. <laughs> so from just pretty all by themselves to very cool blends that dry instantaneously. Yes, you can die cut it. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, you can stamp on it. Um, uh, India ink is going to stamp on it beautifully. All right, let's do one of the other. Let's do the other colors. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more white paper. <laughs> Okay, so those were the six, those were the six kind of starter colors that I picked for you. I picked them because I liked them. <laughs> I thought they were so pretty. I want to say maybe there's 36 colors in total, but I started with the colors that I thought were just stunning. And then let's move to a different type. Still the Lumiere paint but different. Let me put all my lids back together and blue and gold. Okay. So while those were, oh, and look what I got on. While those were just straight colors, they have something called halo colors. They only have three of them and I brought all three of them in. Yeah, see that's, once it's down, it's down. I brought all three of them in and halo colors are unique for sure. They are a duotone color paint. So this one, I mean, how do you not just say dreamy, right? So let's see what this one looks like. Let's grab here and shake, shake, shake. And I'm gonna put this down 
Let's see if I can hold it up. I'm going to put it down kind of like that. See that? But then watch. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom in. <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay, so. I want you to see this color, but then watch. Oh, is that magic? I know, it's pretty awesome, right? That's phenomenal. This is a duo or a halo paint where you get dual colors going on. And it's dreamy. I mean, when this was the one, this is the color that, that stopped me. This is the one that I said, okay, I, I, I don't know what this product is, but when I saw that color, I said, I have to try this. Had no idea what it did, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. The color is holy smokes artichokes. There's three of these colors. So there's one And these are the halo colors. And here's the second one. Do they cost more? Um, no. <laughs> Isn't that great? Because <laughs> I guarantee you, if this was a scrapbooking manufacturer, just because it has a different name, it's halo, it would have cost more. But aren't we lucky that we have Jacquard? <laughs> so. There's my color. Look at that. Now that is the most beautiful rose gold. That is a true rose gold. I can, I can say this is a rose gold paint. So here, and then see what's underneath. It's beautiful. And look at how far it goes. You've seen, all I did was take it from my lid. I've just been pulling it from the lid. So let's do a little shake. Now that's a beautiful color all by itself. If that's the color that you love and you want to just paint that, that's fine. But I like making it move. That makes my heart happy. So, so far two colors. Yay. And then the third. Let's move over to this one. And the third is kind of a, are they calling it a purpley gold? A uh, violet gold. Shake, 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 shake. Let's see if I can move up just a little bit. Pull it from my lid. Dab, dab, dab. And then make it go. And that gold is flecking through there. Oh, yay. Love, love, love. Dab, dab, dab. I mean, you can paint, you can, you can go straight like this. I like to dab, 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 and then make it move. And again, it goes a long way. So now I've taken everything out of my lid. And I'm still painting with it.
this is a cool paint. It is a cool paint. Now, this is me just playing on paper, I, although that looks really good. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, um, but I'll do something with it. But this is the halo. Pretty. Okay. So, straight colors. Look, Ma, <laughs> can they blend? Yes. Are they specialty? Yes. Those just, these just make my heart happy. They just really, really do. But there's still one more set to show you. And those are interference colors. Purple. I'm trying to keep my, my little, and how about we try with this one? Now, interference colors are different than anything else. They're a color that doesn't have a color, and they have three interference colors as well. They call them highlights. So this is a highlight red, and maybe you can see the red coming through it. They have a highlight blue, and they have a highlight violet. Now, Fine Tech has interference colors too in the watercolor, and I think they that's in the fairy, fairy dust kit. So these are these are a very unusual type of paint and they work best on dark, dark colors, whether it be blacks or browns or anything that navies, anything that's kind of dark is where you want to go with these. Um, let's see, that's my blue. And I guess we'll start with the we'll start with this one. So I'm going to put it on some white just so you can see shake, shake, shake. So you can see there's no color there. You won't see any color. I'm not even sure if I can get a reflection of it until you start to move it. And then it will have a hint of that. This is the red, no, this is the violet. It'll have just a hint. So it's a trans transparent paint that's got this interference built into it and it's kind of hard to see on white but then let's grab a piece of black and yet we'll use the exact same color exact same color so side by side white black um you see the difference Look at that color come through. Black, white, exact same color. So on white, it is hard to see. You need to be using it with your, your dark browns, your dark blues, your anything that's got a dark red, anything that's going to allow that interference to come through. So that's the violet. Let's do the blue. Shake, shake, shake. I'm not gonna bother to do it on the white because you get the idea. It's very, very, very subtle. Let's do it on the black. Pull it out of my lid. Holy smokes, artichokes. Right? That's beautiful. That's beautiful color. Beautiful. So if you've got black paper or brown paper or dark red paper or navy paper and you want to add some pizzazz to it, look at how fast and easy it is 
to color and it's dry. Right? Wahoo could chew. Got any more in there? Okay, let's move over to the last one, which is the, are they calling it red? I think it looks, yeah, maybe red is what they're calling it. Come on, close up. The last one. Nope, that's the violet. Don't want to do that. I did that one right there. This is the red. work right out of the lid close it up and give a shake 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 and work straight from the lid so you can see how long the products going to last you I need a bigger shake 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 there we go They're beautiful. And now I've got so much on here <laughs> that I can fill up every inch without any problem. <laughs> so pretty. These are interference colors. And they give you an opportunity to work with beautiful colors on dark paper and dry so flippin' fast. Will the other colors work on dark? They will. I'm still, I'm still enamored with this one. They will work on dark, absolutely. Let's grab. The, maybe the green. You might have to do two coats. Depends upon how dark you want it. It's almost already dry. And let's play with the blue maybe. Yeah, see? putting it right over the green and it doesn't move the green because the green is already cemented. It's already dry. But sure, you can use them on black. I'll tell you the lighter colors. Pretty on black, right? The lighter colors you may need two coats. So the pink so when I move the pink it gets very transparent. I may need two coats to make the pink pink And I'm going to want to let it dry in between coats, which as you saw, just takes a second. So I think that's almost dry, not quite, but close. Let's see if we can add another layer. 
Are we there yet? Now, still a little wet, but that's okay. So you just have to add, this is two coats, that's one. But it looks beautiful on the black, right? Yeah, absolutely, you can use it on the black without question. It's the interference that really requires more of a dark tone. All of the other colors you're gonna be able to use with any color paper that you want. The interference really requires more of that darker tone. It's beautiful though. Okay, so that shows you all the colors of the Lumiere paint that we brought in. And there's 12 of them in total. Yes, they have a lot more colors than that without question. And then I'm just gonna clean it right off my mat. Let me see if I can, can you see that? Baby wipe right off, just because this is a non-stick. Let's just get it right off. Okay, so now let's do something with it, right? Now that you've seen it, let's do something with it. Well, to my surprise, <laughs> And it was a surprise. We'll pull some white paper. We'll pull some black paper. I'm going to use it when I stencil. And I knew it would look great when I stencil. I didn't know it would look great stamping. You're like, what, stamping? Yeah, stamping. OK, so. I have the latest versus set that's exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple. It goes with the stencils. The stencils are, they're not Valentine's per se. They're more love and, I mean, they don't say, there's not a happy Valentine anywhere on here, but the stamps say, uh, be in love with your life every minute of it. Love simply is, you're something magical. And the last one is, when someone else's happiness is your happiness, that is love. So yes, you can use them for Valentine's, but I wanted you to be able to use the stencils and the stamps all year round. And I thought that these sentiments would give you the opportunity. You're something magical. When can you not use that? That's a great, love simply is for wedding, anniversary, it, it, Valentine's, yes. Um, <laughs> when someone else's happiness is your happiness, that is love. I mean, that these are just great, all the time sentiments when you have something to say to somebody and it involves love <laughs> be in love with your life every minute of it that's just that that's an inspirational that can be when somebody's having a hard day or or when they've gotten a promotion I mean there's lots of things you can use that for but what I didn't know with this paint is that you would be able to stamp with it I was absolutely shocked and I think I'm gonna pull the bottom one here it is not, the paint is not a paste. It's not a paste at all. I'm gonna bring over my stamp, my gush pad. And I think I'll play, well, I'll play with a couple colors maybe. So I'll use a couple different stamps. All right, so I thought, hmm, what happens if I ink up my stamp? How will that work? Will it work? Will it dry too fast? What's going to happen? So let me get that on there. Joop. And then shake, shake, shake. Just to get some in my lid. And I've got a lot going on there. So I can either tap that off onto my craft mat or I can tap it off onto a piece of paper if I don't want to lose the paint and I want to use it a little bit later. So if I tap it off kind of onto my piece of paper, see, look, at there's a lot going on. There's, I got a lot on there. And then I ink up my stamp. Usually when we're using a metallic ink, again, it's a pigment-based ink and it takes it time to dry. Now I haven't stamped with this stamp ever. This is the first time I'm stamping with this one. So I may have to stamp off, but let's just give it a whirl and see what happens. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. That's not bad for a first stamp. 
and it's metallic. To me, that's absolutely crazy. When I, when I move it, it's metallic and it's dry. Let's do it again and let's ink it up a little bit more. And that was on a first go round. Well, lots of ink there. So let's see if I went too far with my ink. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. Oh, not far enough. So I didn't actually have enough going on. I was so worried that I did too little. All right, let's just ink it up really good. <laughs> right, and put some, there we go. Now I've really inked it up good, right? One, two, three, A, B, C, give a good push and up. Oh yeah, perfect. Third one's the charm. Can you see the metallic coming off of it? Let me cut it down. Had I known, I well, I yeah, I don't know. I, I just found this paint, so I never would have imagined in my wildest dreams you'd be able to stamp with it and have it come out so crisp and so clean and dry instantaneously. Now I still got a lot going on. I have a lot on my, so I might just take this and make a background out of my extra because I'm not willing to let it go. If I've got paint, I'm just gonna make a background out of it. Now how to clean this, uh, baby wipe. Right off of the block, right off the stamp. It's not gonna hurt your stamp. Second baby wipe, because I had a lot on there. Okay, so now what if we change and we use gold? I don't know, that seems, it's not perfectly clean, but I'm just gonna go for it. If we get a little blue in our gold, so be it. So let's get rid of that one. And let's bring, I've got a perfect one here. Perfect right there. Let's bring a piece of black paper over and let's see what happens with the gold on the black paper. And got my gold, put my sponge on, zoop. That didn't go on very well. And shake, shake, shake. I got a lot in there. So I'm gonna try and pick up a little. I'm gonna dab a little off here. Oh. <laughs> now I dab too much off. But let's see, nope, that's still not straight. Let's see what we get. So I'm just going for it. I'm going a little super heavy just to see what happens if I get so much on here. Because maybe, maybe you're a big dabber. Maybe you like to really make sure that it's covered up really well. So I put a lot of paint on there. Let's see. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. Oh, I needed more paint. Let's 
pick that back up. Let's see. One, two, three, A, B, C, and, oh, better. See, but you can see the metallic. And the thing is, it's dry. Don't do that with pigment-based ink. Oh my gosh, it'll just smear everywhere. My guess is because it dries so fast, this on vellum would be amazing. That would be my guess. If you put this on vellum, because it dries so fast, because it doesn't have any water content, it would be amazing. All right, oodles of paint again. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm just gonna put it just, oh yeah, lots of going on there. And I mean, that is totally inked up. And bring it over and one, two, three, A, B, C, and up. Oh, perfect. Third time's the charm. <laughs> to me, for me, that alone makes this paint rock star. I never thought that I would be able to stamp with it. I thought it would be too, um, too thin, too loose. It would uh, get down into the cracks because obviously it does. And yet it looks amazing. Oh, that's a horrible cut, Stacy. That was like your worst ever. And it's metallic and it's dry. When does that ever happen? Had no idea I would be able to do this with the paint. Now, can it go on white? Well, I've got white, white down here. Gosh, what happens if I try and stamp on top of that? I don't know. What's the worst that can happen, right? What's the worst that can happen? One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. And it works. Can you see it? That's amazing to me. I'm afraid to touch it. My Everything in me says don't touch. And yet, it's dry. Let's do it on white. Or maybe we should do a different color. Let's pull a different stamp. Maybe I'll pull a big block for this one, but well, no, let's pull this one off this block. We will clean that later. Let's pull Love Simply Is. And we'll put our gold away. And maybe we'll try it in, there's my blue, my blue. Maybe we'll try it in kind of the red. Let's do it on the back of this one. Because paper has two sides. See, I am afraid I'm over inking it. And I think I need to get over that. And this is the first time I'm using the stamp. So let's go one, two, three, A, B, C. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. And 
it's in metallic. And by the time I re-ink this stamp up, look at that. One, two, three, A, B, C. So to me, these become a whole new tool because it's, it's your metallic ink for stamping that dries instantaneously. Very hard to find a metallic ink in the stamping world that isn't a pigment-based ink. That's what we're used to. I learned something new. I got a new wrinkle in my brain. I swooned over this. Okay, then let's, should we try it in a duo? I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's take that off. Let's put my duo color on. Give a shake, shake, shake. Ooh. Take it from the lid. Oh, that's a lot. See, I worry that I've put too much, but I think I just need to, to get past that. We're so used to inking and saying, oh, you don't need that much. And let's see what happens. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. And there it is. It's beautiful, beautiful and dry. So you're not just buying these to paint with. We're gonna be stenciling with them in just a minute, but think about Think about how you can use them in your stamping when you want something with that metallic-y finish. What did I do with my other ones? Oh, when you want something with a metallic-y finish, but you don't have time to heat emboss or to let it dry on its own, or you're using it on vellum. Love the blue. And you can see that metallic finish to it. So pretty and so easy and the stamping comes out crisp and clean and beautiful. I had no clue. That was definitely an aha moment for me and I loved every minute of it because it makes it more than what it, it's supposed to be. It takes the paint to a totally different level. What if we have yourself a magical, you're something magical. How about that? You're something magical. And what if we did it in the interference? I know we need to move on, but I was just so excited about the, <laughs> about the, <laughs> the stamping element. Cause now I'm going to keep these up here with me in my crafty arsenal. And when I want to stamp metallic in a YouTube, I have my choice. I can either grab my Aladdin pigment based metallics or I can grab, I can grab these. Um, we like it in the blue. And let's see what we've got. Okay, I haven't stamped with this one yet, so. Ooh, see, and I put a lot in there. We'll see what happens. And you're something special or magical. There we go. All right, not bad. Let's do it again. It was the first time I stamped with it, so let's see if the second one is better. You're something magical. 
Oh, oh, better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. On black paper. Wahoo ka -choo. You have options with the Lumiere paint. You absolutely have options. I can see this as being one of my new more favorite things just because there's so much I can do with it. I have a whole nother idea, but I can't do it in this YouTube, but I will. I, not in this YouTube, but, but there's four new colors of Lumiere coming out, and I think I'm going to see if they'll let me have them. Maybe a little early to play with them. Maybe I can buy a set early and play with it because there's four new colors coming out in January and I have a whole nother idea. Okay, so we did. We played with the Lumiere. We did it. Um, here's the interference. Here's me just taking the extra. Here are the halo colors. Here they are, blended. Here they are in straight colors. Here we've stamped. We stamped on top of it. I mean, we've just done a lot of stuff just using the the paints to give you an idea of what they have, what they bring to your, your crafty arsenal. Could you just take a paintbrush? Sure. Okay, so doing my best to keep my, oh, I just put my finger in that one, but that's okay. All right, now let's talk about the stencils. And the stencils, are layering stencils. There's three stencils per set. They are simply defined, so you're only gonna find them here. And I release my stencils every other month on average. So I have two of them, and I think I'm gonna start with this one first because this is a background. So three stencils make the background. You don't have to use all three stencils. You can use just one, just two, or three. And we have put, yay, on both of them. Yes, both of them. Up and over, up and over. I believe we've put on both sets A, B, and C. And, and if not, we've at least added arrows so you know which way. So I don't know if you can see that there is an A with an arrow, a B with an arrow, and a C with an arrow. Now that's the order that you can do them in. With this set, you can do them however you want because each stencil masks out what you've done previously. So you can't see anything through them. No, we can't see my hand through them because every stencil is acting as a mask to the others. Even if you reverse the order, it's still going to act as a mask. But if you wanted an A, B, and C just to help you keep them in order, we've put that on there for you. So let's take A and let's tape it down. My stencils come with tabs to that allow you to have a place to add tape. Ellison Sizzix stencils have holes at the top and we use their silicone pad with a couple brads to put them in place as opposed to they have a really beautiful stencil placement tool, but it's a little pricey and it's a little big. And I thought we could just put our own holes in their silicone mat and um, because it's self-healing and, and it did just fine. It did the trick too. And it's half the price. <laughs> okay, so I've got my first stencil down. And I'm going to play with just ink right now. I'm going to do this one in just some inks just so you can see it. And then we'll play with the paint. So here's Ultra Pink. I've got my blending brushes. I've got my Hero Arts. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put some ink in here. So this is the quickest and easiest way to use these is just ink. Well, with the Lumiere, it dries so fast 
that that's also going to be a super quick and easy way for you to achieve the look that you want. And again, you don't have to use all three stencils if you don't want to, and you could use the stencil on top of other things to add hearts to it. So I wanted a heart background, but I didn't want it to be so, I don't know, over the top noticeable heart background. So this is what I came up with. All right, so I've got my first one down. Now I'm gonna go and make sure I have plenty of ink around my tabs that I did not put any tape on because that's gonna act as my, as my positioner to line it up. It's my registration lines. So let's pull this off. Actually, I think I'll keep it on there. And that way, if I come and use it again, I've already got my washi tape attached. Oh, well, that one didn't work so much, but that's okay. All right, so there's my first layer. Pretty simple, pretty random. Let's add a second layer. So grab my number two, or my B, line it up. Make sure that you have positioned it. See, having these as your registration lines will tell you. Once you cover them up, you know that you're in the right place. So if I'm like this, I'm like, oh yeah, I can't be because I can see the white paper. That's not gonna work. See, and down here it's off. So once you line them up, they act as your registration guides, and all you have to do is tape your paper down. Oh, Stacy. Okay, let's grab a big old hunk of this. And I'll fix that in a minute. Don't want to, there we go. So let's tape this down. Let me line it up. And a little bit more down here. I'm not quite centered there. That looks good. That looks good. And then let's tape it down. And I do the tops and the bottoms. And then I do on the diagonal. And the two that I left as my registration marks are gonna stay that. I'm not gonna put any tape over them. And let's just grab another color. So how about, let's be bold. How about aquatic? And my pink is protected because my stencil is acting as a mask and a stencil all at the same time. I don't have to worry about the blue mixing with the pink and making mud because the stencil has covered all that pink up. And the only paper that's coming through is where the blue is going. All right, I think that's good. Let's see what I got. And now you can see the pattern coming through but I have one last stencil to go. And this is C, but again, if I wanted to rotate and change them up, I absolutely could. All I have to do is line this up. It'd be helpful if I was, there we go. I'm like, that's not lining up properly. There we go, perfect. 
and so you shouldn't see anything so I had it I showed this to you I went see look at how pretty and then I put it down and I laid my stencil over the top of it and it wasn't lining up because I could see ink coming through and I shouldn't be able to see any of that ink coming through can you see the pink there and there's some blue over here I shouldn't see that and I'm like why is that doing that and then I realized my stencil was upside or my paper was upside down now none of it's coming through there is no way to make a mistake unless you just you flip your stencil and it's in the wrong direction but you've got the arrows there to tell you this way up three and four and last color what do you think last color um i guess we could do a yellow why not no worries about blending And this is if you just want three. You could do it all in one color. You don't have to change your colors at all. You could do this all in one color and just have a solid color background. Nobody says you have to do each layer in a different color. get rid of all the noise that's around it I call all of this stuff noise because it keeps you from focusing on the main image your eye can't help but look at all of that so when you cut it all away is when you get the real effect of what you've done So it is a heart background, but not really totally. I mean, it's a it's a geometric background and they're made of little hearts, but it's not like in your face, hello, I'm Valentine's, hello. No, it's a little softer than that. And what if we took and, uh, you know what, I think I'll just, what if I took, and I'll use the blue and I'll use the pink. So I'm gonna pull these off and I'm gonna do this one more time in just ink and then we're gonna play with the paint. So this is just hand sanitizer. Clean my stencil off. I'm being quick about it I might leave a little bit of residue but I'll be okay with that and let's clean off the yellow one and what do I have multiple colors of Let's try, I'm gonna try it with the blue one more time. So let's grab my white paper and 
let's start with, we'll start with, this is my, this is my B, but I'm going to start with B. grab the blue and let's grab my blue and I'm going to go super light so I'm going to take this ink pad and you saw how dark I can get it right you saw the color but I'm going to go super light with it so I'm going to tap off almost as much as I'm going to put on because I want these hearts to be just a really light blue Really light blue. Okay, that's done. Pull it off and let's do my next layer. So look at the difference in the color that I was able to achieve just by how much pressure and how much ink I used. Those two blues are the exact same color. Let's go here and put it down and I'm still going to use my blue and I'm going to try and keep it light again Okay, so my blue, tap a little bit off. And I'm just gonna try and keep the color kind of light. A little soft. where I'm at. I'm still using just one color. Then let's come in with my last one. And let's put it down. And this time I'm going to put way more pressure. Line it up because it registers just perfectly. Those tabs make things so easy. They give you a place to tape down and they act as a way to make sure you're lined up properly. This time though, I'm still going to stick with my blue, but I'm going to go really dark or darker. I'm just going to get in there and add some nice deep color. And because I've used the same ink pad for all three layers, you know that the colors are going to work well together because it's the same color. All I did was change my saturation by how hard I pushed and how much ink I used. I just changed the saturation. Okay, let's see what we got. So now this last layer was done really kind of dark. Just to show you. That monotone can be beautiful. Let's cut all the all that noise away. Let me put my lids back on, lids back on blue and let's cut the noise away. Look at how pretty is that? It was just one ink pad. That's it, one ink pad.
one ink pad. Multiple ink pads. <laughs> Multiple colors. <laughs> Options. Tons of them. You choose. Okay, now let's play with that one. And let's play on some black. Let's pull it on over. I'll start with a new one just because I don't want to clean the other three and I'm lucky enough to be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so what if we used our, what if we used our interference colors? What if we played with these? Okay, let's play with the interference colors and see what we get. So let's tape it back on down. Cut off a hunk, that way I have it. And one, two, three, Four. So this is just wash, rinse, and repeat. The only thing we're doing differently is playing with a different medium. So we were playing with the Hero Arts, the cube inks that we have exclusive here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. We sell them in the cubes all by themselves. You don't have to buy them in a four pack. And then I did 16 new colors this year. I won't be able to do them next year. So <laughs> that's all we're gonna get, folks. Um, but instead of using ink, I'm changing my medium to this acrylic paint. And let's see what we get. What did I do? There we go. Is that it? Yep, that's it. So when you're using this with a stencil, because it is a paint, toss that away. Oop, yep, toss that away and do a re. You need to use less is more and when you spounce, you're not gonna spounce from way up here. This is not what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it close to the vest. We're gonna keep it very down low when we spounce, not like this, but like this. Keep it very down low because we don't want it to seep underneath and we wanna keep it from kind of shifting a little bit because it's a paint and not an ink. So with this, less is definitely more. So a little bit on your, and then over here, tap it off. You can always go back and add more. Keep it very close to the vest, very down low, and start to stencil in. If you need more, go get more. You've got more. Take it straight from the lid, and I'm just gonna keep pulling up from my little well of paint over here. So, and I can stencil it down, and once I've got some color in there, I can kind of rub it in. I'm not going like this. I'm keeping it down low. And I'm pulling up that extra over there. All right, let's see what we get. Worst case is I don't like it and I flip my paper over and I start again. Okay, but I think I'm gonna be okay with that. I got a little heavy over here 
but I'm going to be okay with that. So then I'm going to bring my second one over, B. And I'm going to line B up. Make sure that I'm all lined up. That looks good. That looks good. Make sure this side is lined up. That looks good. Okay, I think I'm okay with B. And let's tape it down. And my last one. And this time, what if we did the blue? So I did the, that was the violet. Now let's do the blue. It, it looks almost milky. it on the down low, not up high. Remember, it's not a paste, it's a paint. So they behave differently. A paste, you could just go right over the top. This you can't use a palette knife with, it's a paint. And the sponge dauber seems to be the best way, at least when using the stencils, versus a finger dauber or a brush, because again, it's not an ink, it's a paint. You think we're good? It's only paper. It's only black paper. I got more, and I think I'm gonna pull the little thingy out and just go straight from straight from inside the layer. Get rid of my little liner. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. Now do I come in with the last interference or do I come in with a color? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Do I come in with the last interference or do I come in with a color? What if I came in with a gold? How about we did the last one in gold? C is here, facing up. I've got my arrow there, I've got my arrow there. I can tell where it needs to be. I see that I am lined up. I don't have a little bit of my black coming through. That would tell me, oh, I'm not lined up good. No, try again. And do you see, I'm just going, just like with ink, I'm going straight from color to color to color. The drying time is not, is not lengthy at all. And then let's put it down. One, two, three, and four. Oh, I'm a little, see, I can see I'm a little off on my stencil, not personally. <laughs> I mean, I suppose some people would say I'm a little off, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> what does normal mean anyway, right? Yeah, I'm a little off, so I'm going to pull this up from this one and just recenter it. Okay, I think that looks better. And why don't we play with a gold? Let's see. I don't know, do you think that's gonna be too red? All right, no guts, no glory. Shake it up. Or 
do we use? Do we use the duo color? Okay, change of plan. <laughs> when you have options. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. Is that going to be too red? Yeah, it's gonna be too red, too. But it's only black paper. But I do have this one. No, just do it. No guts, no glory, and it is only black paper. Come on. I'm wondering if the duo on the black is just going to look really like a beautiful rose gold. Okay. Looks like a hot mess. I like it. Look at that. It just looks a beautiful, beautiful gold. So if I do it on the back, I just want to see what happens if I do it on the back. So on black, the duo almost just looks like a beautiful gold versus on the white. So there it is on the black. Ooh, Stacy. And here it is on the white where it totally changes. Look at the difference between the two on the same. Well, I guess that's because the, the, the color seeps into the paper faster than the metallic. Maybe that's what it is. And because the color is seeping into the black, you don't get the color. You just get a straight gold. Okay, good to know. But I'm liking it. And then let's cut it out. Oh, I've got so much ink in that pad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> let's cut it out. And this one I'm going to cut straight to where the design ends as opposed to leaving a black border. And dry. So ink. Multi, ink, one ink pad, the, the halo, no, these are the duo, these are the lights, the highlights, and one of the duos that came in as straight, it just came in as straight gold. But options are plenty. Really pretty. All right, let's play with the other stencil. Clean up my mess. And let's grab the other stencil. So white paper. So 
So this stencil has options as well. It is a three stencil set that gives you a filigree, it gives you a floral, and it gives you a mask. So you could use this just on its own, just on its own. And it would mask out that heart and you could just color the inside. You're like, what are you talking about? Okay, let me show you real quick. So I'm gonna use some of these stencils. This set lets you also use, you could use the filigree with the mask. You could use the filigree with the flowers. You could use the filigree on its own. You could use the mask on its own. You really do have oodles of options with this set. And it's $9.99 for, for whatever option you choose. You, you've got them all. So let's just do this one super quick, just so you can see. So let's say I wanted to keep that white white that heart in the center white because I'm going to stamp a sentiment there I could then take and maybe where's my pink Do a little pink here. And um, maybe, let's see. Let's see what color this is. How dark that's going to be. get it. Hmm. Maybe I go darker in my pink. Oh, decisions, decisions. Those two are too close to similar, too, too, too similar. This is going to dry very soft though. Maybe I do this just really light, really light. And I go up into my pink and bring it down. Just keep it light. I think like a feather. I just want to keep that light, 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 not too dark. That's good. And then my pink, just to blend. Dark, 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 dark. Can I get it? Dark, 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 dark. Oh, I don't want to do that. I didn't tape it down there. Dark, 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 dark. See, I didn't put my tape all the way around it. Dark, 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 dark. Dark, 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 dark. Okay, so just the background. And then you can stamp. You can do whatever you want in the middle. That's a stencil all by itself. You don't have to do anything more to it. You could be done.
whatever you want in the middle. You could be done if you want it to be. What if we did it in the paints? So I'm going to keep these close by. I'm going to use the same stencil. Let's try it in the paints. Purple, purple, pink, pink, and let's grab a piece of white paper. And let's try it in the paints. This time I think I will tape it all down properly. So one, two, three, four, and five. And remember, this is just the background. This is actually the last stencil you use when you layer all three of them together. So let's try it in the paints and see what we get. And let's do the same type of combination. Let's do pinks and purples. this one. So pink, shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to have a purple ready to go because I want to see if I can blend them. Shake, shake, shake. Take from my lids. That way you're not wasting any. Oh, I think I'm going to get rid of that. Yep, I'm going to get rid of the top piece here too and just go straight zoop, and take it straight from my lid. You use so little of this paint. Shake, 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 and now straight from my lid. Perfect. So if I start with my pink, and I keep it low, start with my pink and I bring it down and then I go in with some of my purple yep don't lose you oh that's dark 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 I have to go back in with some of my pink Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> go back in with some of my pink on this side and then go in with my purple. That look good. just with a little bit of my pink. Just blend it all in. Oh, that was my purple by mistake. Well, now it's really up high. All right, it's gonna be what's gonna be. Dab, 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 dab. I still think I want to come back in with just a little bit pink of, on the top. Kind of a hot mess. Let's see what we get. Come on. 
Come on. This one, and then those two. Look at the sheen. The sheen and the shimmer. And I blended the colors. And I haven't even used the other two stencils yet. Look at the color. And it's dry. Crazy. So between the inks and the, the Lumineer paint, it dries so fast. Okay, let's throw all of this away. I'll put this one off to the side. And let's grab the other stencil. So let's put this, oh, Stacy. A little bit of purple going on everywhere. Purple here, purple there. Clean up my mess. Put my lids on. And I suppose if I wanted, oh, I'm going to need more white paper. white paper. I suppose if I wanted I could still come in. I probably have oodles on here that I could just put onto a piece of paper so I don't lose it and then file the paper away. That way I can die cut something out of that and not just have it dry on my on my um, my little foamy. All right, let's see what we got when we use the next one. Those over there. So I still haven't put all three of them together. I'm going to use stencil number two now. So this is stencil number two, and it's very filigree. It's so pretty. So pretty. And let's tape it on down. And let's just do it with some paint. So here I could come in maybe with the gold. They call it sunset gold. Okay, good. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. And again, this is very flourishy. So you got to keep it low to the stencil. Low, low, low to the stencil and less is more on your pad. Oh, my pad is soaked all the way through. Let's get a new one, because that one is filled with, filled with paint. Less is more. Load. onto my craft mat. Low, 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 you can't do this. If you do this, your flourishes are gonna move. So 
low, low, low. Dab, dab, dab. And no, no swish, swish, swish. <laughs> going. Let's get some more in my lid. And less is more. You can always add more paint, but if you get too much on and it gets underneath, now that might happen because some of these flourishes are awful narrow. And you just want to make sure you've got good all over coverage. And I'm not doing this. I'm low to the ground. Well, I probably have too much now, but that's okay. We're gonna give it a whirl. A little more up there. Give it a whirl and see what happens. And there's my flourish. Right? Super pretty. But now I can now I could just stop here and be done. Or I can come in with my third stencil and add to it. I don't know what you're gonna like better. Um, let's do it really quick one more time. I'll go a little faster this time if I can just so I have a uh, apples to apples and you can see the difference. Apples to apples. So in, I don't wanna go too fast so that I, I um, get it underneath. Get it done. So this is more the speed if you were doing it at home versus teaching it. Of course, you can take as much time as you want. <laughs> I've got something in there. And it's not a paste, so we can't use a palette knife. You've got to use a dauber. And I can't use a paintbrush on this because my flourishes, you'll get stuff underneath them. I'm trying to avoid that. So the dauber close to the, close to the stencil. And less paint is more. Oh, see, I did. I got something underneath there. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I think I got a little piece of paper tucked underneath there, maybe from the inside of the lid but that's okay. Yeah, I lost my flourish down there, but that's okay. Still pretty. All right, so we have this one and we have this one. So you can see the difference. Yeah, see, I lost the flourish on the bottom. So let me take this one just so you can see with and without. Grab my third stencil. 
I got a lot of the paint there, but we're going to let it go. And let's color it up. So the third stencil is what adds the final detail. And again, you don't want to see any of any of the white. You shouldn't see any white coming through your stencil at all. No white at all. I don't want to see any of my flourishes coming through. And let's tape it on down. So with this set, you can use one stencil, you can use two stencils, you can use three stencils. Totally up to you how you want to layer them. Okay, and what color do we want to use? Uh, pink? Purple, blue, I like the blue. Okay, let's do the blue. You like blue for flowers? Yeah, blue for flowers, why not? So I'm really patting it off. And I'm really down low. And I'm using very little paint. You could do this with just your inks. All right, let's see what we got. So now we go back to this one. Most people think that this stencil is stencil one. Let me grab it. Most people think that this is the stencil you put down first, but it's not. If I put this down first, like I did just here, and then I come back to do this one, I can do that if all I want to do is add my, add my color and my flourish. But if I want to add the flowers on top, it's no longer masking everything off. When you do these, there is an order if you want to use all three of them. You start with your filigree. Now you may decide you're completely done. You may look at that and say, I don't want anything more than this. I am good right there. Nothing more. But then you might add stencil number two. And you might look at that and say, I'm good. I don't want anything more than that. I'm done. But then you might want to add stencil three. And stencil three is going to mask off everything you just did. Everything you just did is now masked off, so you can't blend your colors. You don't have to worry about making mud. This is your last stencil. 
and it adds a little bit of a border around your heart. A little bit of a white border around your heart. And if you do your tabs properly, you'll be able to line it up perfectly. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna tape it down. And we're gonna do this one. So what looks like you would think it would be your first stencil is actually your last. And it's acting as a mask to cover everything you just did with that beautiful, beautiful paint. So now it's hidden, everything I've done. So I can't accidentally make a mess out of it. I think we will continue with the blue since it's here. I'm dry there. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm just going to go in there and color it all. That blue is magic. It's so beautiful. It's that sapphire jewel tone blue that just makes everything look good. I have several blouses in this color. <laughs> Do they still call them blouses? <laughs> and I'm just gonna go all the way around and just pick up my Pick up my paint. Oh, did I get a little gold in there? No, I didn't. That's just me. So it kind of looks like a hot mess. Everything's covered up. Let's see what we got. And remember, it's only paper. Okay, I think that's regal. I think that's elegant. I think it's sophisticated. Those colors are all grown up colors. And it's dry. It's dry. Cut off my noise. That was not a good cut, Stacy. Try that one again. What do you think? All done with that beautiful shimmer paint. And it is a paint and it is dry. It's beautiful and it's dry. Yes, you can absolutely ink 
without question. But you can also take it and make it into more. And I could easily, even though I, I didn't get it perfectly, I could very easily clean up my mess. Ooh, Stacy. Put this one down. Grab this. Make sure I'm going in the right direction. Make sure I can't see any of my any of my flourishes in the paper. I don't want to see any white paper coming through. And let's do this one in that duo tone and see what happens. Okay, well I put too many on there. <laughs> let's move let's move this one off. Okay, there we go. Let's grab that duo color in that blue, this one. Ooh, let's see what happens. Oh, somebody's here. All right, so a little bit of the duo color on here. Keep it really close. Kind of got this greeny to it. And this is the one that didn't come out perfect. I'm just gonna go for it. Imperfect is the new perfect. <laughs> Handmade is the new perfect. This product is beautiful product. And it wouldn't be something that I would have ordinarily found, but I was at a show with fine art companies and wow, the colors just spoke to me. Didn't know what I was gonna do with it. Had no idea I could stamp with it. Oh, that was a game changer for me right then and there. All right, let's pull it off. And we're there. And then let's take Look at I cleaned it super fast. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm using a different one. <laughs> let's take and line it up. And it's going to have a little bit of a white border that goes around the heart just so that the background doesn't it, it pops, the background stands out. I want that background. See how it has just a little bit of a white border all the way around, just so there's a, a demarcation line between the heart and the background. I'm dealing washi tape. All right, and then let's do, let's do the same color. Only this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the color and move it. So you have different tones
Okay. So you can see that there's multiple colors coming through. <laughs> it's so pretty. Put my lid on. So it's not all the time that I am wowed by a product. And I've been around for a long time. And I've seen a lot of stuff. I've seen fads and trends and I've seen what's old is new again. But this paint, this paint was just yummy. And it looks like magic. And this is the bad one. And it still looks good. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? This one? This one is inked. This one is shimmered. I don't know. Do we like it? Are we loving it? I love the stencils. Stencils you can use so many different ways. I just think that's so beautiful. But the paint, the paint stamping What if I, what if I did this? Oh, can I do that? Oh, I can't do that, too bad. If I just trim this, let's get this really down. Too big for that, right? I agree. But that's the one I used. But it's too big for that. You're something magical. Anyway, you can absolutely then, well, that would go on the inside lovely though, wouldn't it? That stamped image. So you open the card, whoop, and there's the image on the inside. It's perfect. Beautiful. And you're something magical with that one. Oh. And that's with the interference on the black. Had no idea you'd be able to stamp with it. No idea at all. But I did know that the colors are striking and that the dry time is so fast and that you can blend them even when you don't think you could. And that all the extra makes something magical. I wonder, We've got to be done. I've got to stop, but I wonder if So I've got this one. So that's the blue I was just using, the halo blue. And here's the other blue I was using. And some gold, maybe. This is all the leftover. And I use some purple. Nope, purple's dry. Pink, pink is dry. Hmm. Maybe we just go with the blue then. And just keep pulling out the blue.
This is all the extra that's coming off of my off of my sponges. Now what you do with this after the fact, I have no idea. But man, I think you could dice it, cut some pretty beautiful things out of this. Yeah, it's still coming out. I don't know, use that for something. I wouldn't throw it away. <laughs> no, no, no. The color's too beautiful. And you can make a... There's a mat to a card right there. <laughs> right? That's craziness. Where's those stamps? What did I do with them? I do it on the back of something. Well, somewhere I was gonna pull those the 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 stamps that I did um of the the love and just put it across, but there you go. That's out of the leftover. Right? Not bad, huh? All right. Wow, we did a lot. Okay. So, and I have got a hot mess here. Like, you can't believe. But it's so pretty. So, we used the Jacquard product to just do amazing things with. Who knew you'd be able to stamp with it? and it dries instantaneously. Look at that duo color. Halo is what it's called, halo color. This one just inked and I just used the, the last stencil to do this. Here, three, here, metallic, here, single. You, you decide what you wanna do. It's all up to you. And background out of the extra. That's beautiful. <laughs> Could you imagine cutting this up to make backgrounds out of? <gasps> oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so what did we play with today? Okay, so we played with the Jacquard product and I've got three different bundles for you. I've got the Interference. So the three colors of the Interference, which were these three colors on black. Mm-hmm. Uh, Retail price is $21.57. Your price is $16.99 for all three. I told you the price was amazing. I told you. And then we have those, the, the these colors. Ooh. <laughs> they call them halo colors. Same thing, same price. Look at that. Not your $21.57, but $16.99 gets you those. And then the base colors are regularly $43 and your price is $33. There is not an I want it all for all of it. If you want all of it, you gotta, you gotta put this one in your cart and this one in your cart and this one in your cart. I do not have equal amounts of all the paints. I do not, but I love these. These are going in my stash uh, right by my, 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 my YouTube area where I pull things out that make my heart happy when I need to, like my Hero Arts inks. I use them all the time because they make my heart happy. To be able to stamp with that to me was a game changer. I have the stamp from Versus. Exclusive for us, be in love with your life every minute of it. You're something magical, love simply is. And when someone else's happiness is your happiness, that is love. And they stamped so beautiful with the, with the paint had no clue that would happen. And then the two stencils. 
So I've got the filigree heart and three stencils to make up the final, but you can use the stencils in so many different ways. And I've got our heart background. And I think, oh, and I've got, I think that's it. And I've got the brush, uh, I've got the blending. You're gonna need these. You really are gonna need these. You're gonna want these. <laughs> All right, let me clean up my desk real quick and then let me show you samples. I really would love to know what I did with that stamp with those stamps. I know I stamped them in I know I stamped them on white paper and I know I stamped them in the kind of the ready color. I know they're here somewhere, but I don't know where that somewhere is. Oh, wait till they see my desk. Holy smokes. All right. It takes like four of us to clean up after me. <laughs> here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just gorgeous? I told you you could do these. I told you you could do these. This is perfect for every level of crafter. Look at all one color. Die cut. I cut out the hearts instead of using it as a solid background. Right? Cute. Youthful. It all changes. When you change the color, everything changes on the card or the layout or the mixed media piece or the, the mini album. Change the color, change the look. Look at that. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Hearts for happiness. Look at the snowman and he's got snow hearts falling behind him. And you are something magical. And love simply is. And then, did I show that one already? Hold on, let me look, let me look, let me look. No, 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 okay. Is it with this one? No, hold on. Looking, looking, look, okay, here we go. They gotta go together. So here we have here, where we die cut out a heart in the center. And you've got the, you've got your sentiment below. And then here, here is the die cut of the heart. And we just made a background out of the paint so this heart came from there. Bing, bing, boom, two cards, look at that. Bing, bing, boom. Okay, now I can grab these and then look at this. Did I show this one already? Love Simply is, oh, so pretty. And you're something magical. Now bless the girls. When the, when the stencils come in, I have to QC them and make sure that they're right. So I don't particularly care what colors I pick when I'm using them, but they took the ones, they took a few of them that I just grabbed colors to make sure that the stencils were working right. This was one of them and they made a card out of it. You gotta love them for that. I used red and green and the metallic paints and, and they found a way to make it look good. <laughs> look at that. These are beautiful. So some of these are done by Michelle, who is a designer or, yeah, I would say she, yes, Michelle is a designer. She is so uber talented and she works for Ark on Wild and Friends and she will take the stencils and make some of our samples as well and she does an amazing job. She should be commended for the work that she does. It's beautiful. They're so pretty. So from the whimsical and cute to the more traditional, maybe Valentine's wedding-y, 
to the just thinking about you. All about the colors and the paper and then Claire did a layout and she used it on a um, on a pre-embossed sheet of paper she used the ink the paint and it just came out stunning and here are the hearts the hearts from the stencil travel all the way up so you use those hearts anywhere you want them to be. Look at, they travel all the way up. She used the stencil to make her border. Let me go back just a little bit. Right, as opposed to making a whole background, she just took the stencils and ran them all the way up. So clever. And she did the, this is beautiful, really beautiful. And this is Claire and her layout. And here you've got your sentiment. All right, you guys. It's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Holy smokes, artichokes. I hope this loads in time. If it doesn't, I'll let you know. I'll post if it doesn't get loaded on time. You just never know. And um, I do think we're going to do something with this. I just don't know. I think I'm going to ask the girls to make something with it because it's fabulous. So where are you going to find all of this product? Well, the Jacquard paints you may be able to get at several different places, including some really big online retailers, some really big online retailers that could squish me like a bug. I'm going to tell you I can't match their price. I'm like, I don't know, 50 cents more a, 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 a container. I think I'm 50 cents more. I'm trying not to be 50 cents more, but I just, I just can't. Um, and it's a fine art manufacturer that literally could squish all of us like a bug. So if you really want it and you need to save that 50 cents, I encourage you to go shop. Dick Blick's got them. They do. I'm not going to hide that fact. They've got them and they can buy them. They buy them in such large volume that they get a better price than we do. But we certainly appreciate you supporting an independent retailer. And if your local independent retailer has them and they're 50 cents more than our price, we encourage you to shop with them. We really do. And, and that way all of us can stay in business. So I've got the three different bundles. I've got their open stock. If you just like one or two colors, absolutely they'll be on sale for you as well. We've got the stencils that you can only get here. And you may already have blending tools in your, your crafty arsenal. Do you absolutely positively need the paint? No, but it sure is good. <laughs> For me to love something this much, I just, for me, I see opportunities with that paint. I really do. I see ways that I'm going to want to use it in future YouTubes. And for me, after doing this for as long as I have, that is exciting. I've got a whole nother way to use it, but not yet. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you next week when we have a sneak peek of... Whatever we're doing on expedited, uh, I think it's I think it's spellbinders. Spellbinders is next week, so I will see you then. And thank you so much for joining me on live chat. If you were here today, it's always a pleasure to hang with you guys for a couple hours. It's my it's my me time with you time. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.